Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Oh. Alright, everybody, what is going on? Today marks the final day of making games. This is the final episode, guys. Um, it's a day that uh, I knew was coming, and I didn't, I didn't really think it was going to come this early, but, you know, the last few videos I've mentioned that because of my decent result on my DEXA scan, um, I decided that I was going to continue bulking and that I didn't need to cut. Well, it came time to give you guys a physique update and um, I just could not get one that I was happy with. Um, you know, it doesn't matter what the lighting is, <laughs> if, as long as you've got fat on your stomach, there's no way you're going to be able to look like you've got abs, right? So. One thing I did get from the Arnold Expo was motivation to get in shape again. Um, you know, there's nothing like having nice cuts in your delts. It really is a fantastic feeling and it's one that I, I want to get back, to be honest. Nothing stupid, nothing, you know, you know, nothing under about 10% body fat, but I'd really love to get down to about 10% body fat, see what kind of body weight I'm at, um, and then yeah, maintain from there and continue bulking again. So I do believe that nutrient partitioning um, in your body is the most efficient when you're between 10 to 12, 13, 14 percent body fat. Once you get above about 15 percent body fat, I think that your body doesn't use your nutrients as as well and as efficiently as it would if you're slightly leaner. And that's another reason why I want to do this, as well as the aesthetic reasons, of course. Um, but but yeah, it's it's exciting. It's time for a change. It's time for me to. Uh, stop eating as much, stop worrying about eating as much all the time because that's really, really taken its toll. Um, I, I don't enjoy food anymore to be honest. After bulking for the last seven and a half months, the enjoyment of food has been greatly diminished. Um, and I'm sweating here guys, I don't know if you can see this but it's fucking hot. But anyways, How fitting, how fitting for the final video to be sipping on a white monster. But with that being said, today I'm just going to run through my DEXA scan results, um, which I thought would be fitting. Uh, last episode, I'm going to show you guys exactly where I'm at physically. Um, this episode, this, sorry, this series was about making muscle gains. And I'm happy to say that that's exactly what I've done. So. The cool thing about the DEXA scans is that I've had four in the past, so the first one I had, let me let me get this up here, hang on, okay, so the first DEXA scan I had was on the 3rd of September 2014, the second one was on the 23rd of April 2015, the third one not, not long after, the 16th of July 2015. And the fourth one, which is the one I just got done, was on the 20th of March, 2017. So, from the first one to the last one, it's probably been about... Fuck, it's been about two, two and a half years um, between the first and the last. So, what I will say is that from the first to the second to the third, I actually lost gains, and that was so disheartening. And it's because I was determined to get leaner. When the fact is, is that I was never going to look the way I wanted to look because I just did not have the muscle mass underneath to actually look great when I got lean. So you know, when I got lean, I looked stringy, I looked soft because I didn't have that fucking mature hard muscle underneath to 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 show. And so, the first DEXA scan I got was actually, I was in my best shape. I bulked up for all of like 2013, got to the start of 2014, <clears throat> and decided to begin my first cut. So for the, for, the, for the next nine months of 2014, 
from January to September, I experimented with diet, I learned about macros, etc. Found myself down at 93 kgs with uh, a body fat percentage of 11.25%. So if we're talking about lean mass, because the awesome thing about DEXA, it gives you three values. It gives you your bone mass, your lean mass, and your fat mass, all in grams and kilograms. So, you know, you can then take your values and determine what your body fat percentage is. So, lean body mass, we're talking the first one I got, lean body mass, 79.62 kilos. The second one I got, 77.98 kilos. And the third one, on the 16th of July 2015, I was at 75.36 kilograms. So, over that year, or whatever, I'd actually lost muscle. And like I said before, it was because I was telling myself I had to get leaner and leaner and leaner, and all I was doing is losing muscle. I mean, when you're natural and you're trying to get lean, it's not easy to maintain the muscle. You don't want to fuck around for too long, and that's exactly what I did. So, that was actually on the way to my first show. That, the one that I was at 75 kilos of lean mass, I was on the way to my first show, which I did end up doing. So, you know, by the time I got to my first show, I may have been down at 74, 73 kilos of lean mass. I really don't know. But after my show, I was feeling really depleted. Um, you know, I knew I needed to bulk for an extended period of time, and I set out to do that. Well, that didn't last too long, you know, and over the next year, I went down, up, down, up, until I started this series. And so for the last seven and a half months, I've been bulking straight, bulking hard, being committed to my diet, committed to, to eating eating food, training hard, etc., etc. You guys have seen it. And here we are now, today. So my lean mass in the last 613 days has gone from 75.26 kilos to 85.6 kilos. So that is an increase of 10.235 kilograms of lean mass. That's gains, man. Obviously, my body weight has gone up from 90.28 to 105.54. So that's an increase of 15.259 kilograms in total, of which 10.235 was lean mass and 5.163 was fat. So I've put on about 5 kilos of fat, but I've also put on over 10 kilos of lean mass, and that is that is what we want to see that's what we want to see guys so um overall i'll say that again right now i'm sitting at apparently i think i was weighed slightly higher to be honest but 105.54 kilograms 85.6 kgs of lean mass 16.68 kgs of fat and 3.26 kgs of bone so that makes up that weight and I'm sitting at 15.8% body fat. So the thing is, if my weight was slightly, you know, above what it's meant to be, if, the, if, if I weighed in at 104 or 104.5, uh, the fat mass would have stayed the same. So my body fat percentage would actually be higher. So what I honestly think I am is probably about 16.5 to 17% body fat. So right now I'm going to put up a picture of my third and fourth body scans the actual picture of my body the x-ray is really really interesting to look at i'm going to put that up now um, so what you'll find is that on the left obviously i'm slightly you know leaner on the right is what i am right now um, i've clearly put on some body fat and you can see exactly where i've put it on so there's a lot around the trunk a bit around the quads the top top of the shoulder and um, that's obviously genetically where i put my body fat so with that said, um, really happy I got that done, uh, and from here on, guys, I'm going to shut the uh, shut the the camera off and start shredding. I'm going to start shredding. Um, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do it. I'm going to get results. When I say I'm going to do something, I do it. I said I was going to put on some muscle in this series, and we've done just that, and I'm really happy about that. So I'm not going to hold you guys too much longer. I'm going to go down to the gym, train some legs right now. It's actually fucking hot. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but I'm sweating here. Uh, but don't mind that. It's a beautiful day. And I'm happy. And that's the main thing.
So until next time guys, thank you so much for watching. I don't know when the next video will be out, but it'll be the start of the cut. So things are changing, man. Things are going to have to change, but I'm excited to reveal what gains I've made since the last time I was lean. So until then, until next time, guys, have a great day. Train hard, eat well, don't count the days, make the days count. Do everything you can on this particular day to bring yourself closer to that major goal. There's no, absolutely no point in focusing solely on that goal because it's gonna take away from your efforts in a day-to-day -day basis, okay? No one ever got to that end goal without focusing on each day as it comes and making the most, making the most of that day. And that's what I've done. And that's what I try and do, so. Catch you later, guys. Peace.